Greetings to all audience. How are you today? I hope you are fine. We are from Polytechnic Tuanku Sai Surajudin who would like to share our knowledge and experience regarding halal slaughtering practice. The of these videos are the definition of slaughtering, the four pillars of slaughtering, the slaughtering practice, and ending up with a short conclusion. Only halal food. And to find halal food is a must for every Muslim. It is clearly stated in the Al-Quran, in Surah Al-Ma'idah. The definition. According to Malaysian standard MS 1500-2009, halal slaughtering is the process of cutting the throat to sever the trachea, esophagus, carotid arteries, and jugular veins of land animals such as sheep, cattle, or poultry. Now, I will explain the four pillars of halal slaughtering. The first pillar is the slaughterer. The slaughterer can be a male or female. As long as he or she is a Muslim. The slaughterer must be mentally sound mature and understand the fundamental rules and conditions of halal slaughter. The second pillar of halal slaughtering is tools and equipment, slaughtering lines, tools and utensils shall be dedicated for halal slaughtering process only, slaughtering knife or blade. shall be properly sharpened, sharpening the blade of the knife, neither in front of the animal to be slaughtered, nor to the other animal shall be avoided. Other sharp objects like bones, nails and teeth are not allowed to use as a slaughtering tool. The third pillar of the slaughtering process is the animal to be slaughtered. First, the animal should be halal. Animal is healthy and approved by the competent authority. And at the point of slaughter, animal shall be alive or higher mustakirra. The fourth requirement or pillar of the slaughtering process is the slaughter process itself. The act of slaughtering shall be done once only with Nia, and the slaughter man is well aware of his action. Second, Tasmia shall be invoked immediately before the slaughtering process, such as, for example, Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. Third one, the process of the sowing action of the slaughtering is permitted. Then the slaughtering should not cut the spinal cord. It may lead to cardiac arrest, thus resulting in the stagnation of the blood in the blood vessel. Slaughtering is compulsory for each animal or consumed by Muslim to ensure that the resource consumption can have a positive impact 
on the person's Muslim mentally, physically, attitude or character. Something that use illegal, bad and unclean will usually produce negative impact. In addition, the slaughterer also can provide a lot of kindness and wisdom. Among them are to show a significance differences between how Muslims and non-Muslim in the matter of how slaughter animal. Second, to ensure that animal do not experience pain that torture when slaughter except in a short time. Next. It can remove and clean the blood from the body to avoid illness. Then, as a mark of respect to other creatures of God creations. So, therefore, Islam uh, put guideline in slaughtering animal. The concept of halal slaughtering in Islam is not seen as an activity that punish animals brutally by the view of non-Muslim who saw it.